Hey, what up 360 booth operators? So you guys lately I've been doing something and I just wanted to share this with you in hopes that it helps you. So as you guys know, we've been having a lot of issues with touch picks on and off. You know, sometimes you get that perfect event, everything's running smooth and that's dope. But sometimes you run into little issues. Some of the issues that I've been running to lately with touch picks is when I go to an event and I start the video, the video will do the whole thing, record for the six seconds. Then when the video finishes rendering, it'll only show anywhere from 14 to 16 seconds. So the video is only 14 to 16, maybe 18 seconds long. And for me, that's not like a sweet spot. I like videos between 24 to 28 seconds. So what I started doing is I would refresh and that would not work. So then I would come out of the app completely, launch the app again, and that would not work. But I found something that works for me and I feel like sharing this with you guys is probably gonna get you out of a tight situation if you guys had the same issue. So what I realized is working is when I go to touch picks and I create an event, I create a duplicate event. And so what I'll do is if that first event is not working in the video is only coming up around 15, 16, 17 seconds long, what I'll do is I'll close that event and then I'll open up the second event and the second event is a duplicate event. So it has the same overlay, the settings and the song as well. So let me show you on touch picks how you get that done. Great. So let's go ahead and start an event here. I'm going to go to create a custom event. I'm going to go as fast as possible. This is CJ's B day. Then select my country here, my countdown. I leave it at three. I like hearing that beep in the background. I don't like the mirror overlay. We're going to use the rear camera and we're going to go ahead and select no printing. And then we're just going to leave slow-mo check just like that. I like leaving this at six seconds. The audio file, I've already made the audio file and I know it's here somewhere. I just got to locate it really quick here. There it is. I found it. Sorry for the delay guys. It's right here. Select that audio track, editing, leave it at zero, sharing, leave it at zero, thanks, zero, props. Let's go to sharing and change it actually to three seconds. That way we can see a, a bit of the video and actually airdrop it. And this, I'm just leave it as is, no props, company name, company rentals. Let's go ahead and put my logo in there. I just got some new logos, guys. Um, I'm going to make another video on demonstrating how to find a decent, a decent freelancer on Fiverr and getting a logo done. So we'll just go to 360 here and see what we pull up here. 360. And these are the different logos I have now. Um, this is actually a transparent logo. I'm going to roll with this one today. I'm going to use a transparent logo. And then for the app background, uh, I like this one right here. So I'm going to do a bag up right there. I like this one because it shows my phone number as well. So that's been selected. Then, of course, I want to motion the trigger on. I'm going to enable that. And everything should be here going. This is fine. External screen. I'm going to hit and hit submit. And then let's go ahead and just plug in the overlay. Gotta love those overlays. Hopefully people, um, a lot of people don't even know what an overlay is. So I'm thinking moving forward, I might not use touch picks and just, uh, you know, save a bunch of money on a yearly basis, not to mention a monthly basis and just uh, do slow-mo recording using other apps. And um, so let's go to designer right here. Okay, finally, template number five. That's my favorite one. Then I'm going to go to uploads get that customer overlay on there. I have a customer right over here. I think it's this one that's blank. That's the one. Go ahead and select it. That's what's up. That's what we're going to use. I'm going to add the template here. Adding the template. So once this goes uh, all the way through, it'll say here. Okay, so it's all the way through. Now I'm going to go to my account. I'm going to go to my events here. And you always, always want to confirm that right here, the overlay, it's actually demonstrating the overlay that you selected. That's success right there. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to manage and I'm going to go over to duplicate right here, this little middle section right here, duplicate event. And I'm going to write here backup here. 
just in case, like I said, I'm having issues with touch picks. This is going to save you a lot of time because all you have to really do is go in there and save it. So I'm not going to go into the designer. I'm just going to go back to my events just to confirm that that duplicate event is going to have the same overlay. So here's my backup right up here where it says CJ backup. I'm going to go to overlay. And there it is. So that's going to save you a bunch of time. So just do that, guys, if you just want to be extra cautious. Um, I'm sharing these videos with you to this day because there's still things that I'm learning. And I believe that some of these things that I'm running into and finding little uh, solutions to are going to add some type of value to your overall experience as a 360 booth operator. So I hope this video helps. I'll see you guys on the next one. Good luck and have fun on your next event. Peace.